The Pac-12 Rugby Sevens Championship returned to Stuber Rugby Stadium at Stanford, California, and it was a great weekend of rugby all around. And for the first time, we saw women's sevens, Sydney Shue, lighten things up before the Stanford Cardinal. Were you impressed by what you saw from the from the women? Yeah, uh, Stanford was absolutely dominant, won the physical battle day one. Day two, we saw a little bit of a different thing. Cal kind of put pressure defensively on Stanford and uh, ended up getting two wins. And the Battle of the Bay and the winner of this five game stand between these two teams, the Cal women sevens and Stanford women sevens went to Stanford. But on the other side, the men's side, well, the script went for the Bears. A lot of that. Restarts were crucial for the Bears. They were comp comprehensive throughout the weekend, not only getting it done on attack, but in defense as well, and that is what made them stand out. Yeah, one through 13 on the pitch was magnificent. Everyone kind of showed up this weekend, kind of complete performances, strong in the breakdown, good skill set and passing, like making all their tackles, really couldn't see anything else uh, being done better. And in the finals, it was tight for a while, but they ran away with it again. Cal only allowed two tries on the entire weekend, and they get to lift the trophy for the ninth time out of 10 opportunities. And this is how it shook out for the rest of the final matches. We see Oregon bested their in-state rivals, Oregon State. USC, after a great tournament, falls to Utah, who rebounded nicely. And then it was Stanford, who was game for a contest earlier in the day and then fell apart against UCLA. The Bruins take third. And finally, after a great first half of action in the final, Cal wins out against Arizona for their ninth straight, ninth title here at the Pac-12 Sevens. Rugby on the Pac-12 Networks is alive and well, and we'll see you the next time that we're around. Thanks, Join us everybody. then.